Today I'm going to be covering a process called bluing, both hot and cold. Now that's a way of basically giving a bolt like this rust protection and making it look badass like this. <laughs> and everyone knows things in black are badass. Just consider the 18 van and kit and Darth Vader. Let me show you how to do it. Bluing is a process where we create an oxide layer on things that are steel. So basically it has to be ferrous, it has to be iron based. Um, so there's two methods, there's cold bluing, which is this one. So we did a, an engine bolt, which most Volkswagen guys will recognize as the one you can't find when you do an engine swap. <laughs> Uh, now, if you were to buy that aftermarket today, the chances are it's zinc coated when it comes. It's already protected from rust, so you wouldn't be able to do that. It only works on raw steel, basically. Um, so if it's zinc coated or if it's stainless, it won't work. Uh, and if it's aluminium, blah, blah, it doesn't work on other metals, basically. Uh, now, there's two processes, two methods. There's cold bluing, which we've done with the engine bolt and the exhaust bracket. And there's hot bluing, which we've done on the body to pan washer. Um, and I'll show you that process first. So the first thing you want to do is get your wire brush or however you're going to clean things uh, on your drill. Make sure it's super, super clean. It's going to go back to bare metal, uh, so there can't be any uh, oxides on there, can't be any rust, can't be any paint. Basically, the oil has to penetrate the surface, so it has to get uh, to all of the surface. If it's not completely clean, it won't cover um, or it may start to flake off. Get your piece and your degreaser to make sure there's no oil or grease left on the surface at all. Next we're going to take our oil. Basically we're using this to quench the item once we've heated it up. We can reuse it so it can go back in the bottle afterwards. So we want to be heating our item to about 400 degrees or so. Basically when it starts to glow. If you go crazy hot, you'll find that the, the coating will just kind of flake off. And if it's not hot enough, you'll just get like a blue coating rather than a dark blue coating or a black coating. And it takes longer than you expect generally. Have your patient. Starting to glow a little bit. And I'm going to quench it in the oil. A nice even glow there, look. So hot blowing is pretty easy. All you've got to do is heat your item up and quench it in oil. And the results we've got were pretty decent. So I've got a nice even dark coating on there and it seems to have covered this bracket pretty well. Um, so for such as a bracket like this, it might be okay. However, I don't think it's the best option for blowing most items. So if you've got such as a tensile bolt or a spring or something, if you were to try and heat that up to the point where it's almost glowing, if you go too far and make it glow, then your spring is not going to be very springy anymore. Your tensile bolt's likely not to be tensile anymore. Um, also, if you've got something larger, like this bracket I made for an exhaust, I challenge anyone to get that to 400 degrees across its whole length, um, especially with the blowtorch. I'd say that'd be a really tricky thing to do. So there's another way of bluing, which is cold bluing. I'm going to show you how to do that next. For cold bluing, you need to get a product like this one. Now, Super Blue was the cheapest one I could find on eBay. Uh, I will add links to the description below should you want to buy some or one of the other products. Um, and it was about 13 quid delivered to the door. I'm going to treat myself to some new gloves and to avoid any oil contamination as best I can. I'll take some of our bluing solution and pop it in a separate container. You don't want to be dipping back into the main bottle, otherwise it's, uh, it'll make it go off. Just gonna use some methylated spirits, 
to thoroughly degrease the bolt. Seagull. Now I have done this with a brush and it doesn't seem to coat the surface so well um, as if you use a sponge. So uh, I'm going to be using one of these. I'm not sure what it's actually from, but I've got a few of them. And simply paint it on. Takes about 30 seconds to start working. So I'll give it a minute or two to do its business. You can see it's kind of turned in a, a dull grey. And then you have to wash it off in water. Now you can give it multiple coats, so I've got some white, fine wire wool, just giving it a quick polish. Just going to give it another coat. So our bolt's now got a nice even colour. Again, it's going to give it a rinse off again. And it should leave a, a matte finish. Let me dry it off. But while we're at it, we do this as well. This bracket, see how it turns out. Now the surface on it's not great, a bit like the uh, bracket I used earlier, so it'll not look as good I don't think. Now the advantage of being able to paint on the balloon solution means you can, if you wanted to, just do part of something. So you don't have to make the whole section blue, you can just do the end parts or just a section from it. So it's been going for about two minutes. Get the rinse off, and the excess off there. So we've got both of our parts. Uh, they're both a dark blue gray color now. Um, it kind of gives you a matte finish uh, when it's all dried off. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pop it in the oil. So the oil can penetrate that surface a little bit uh, and also protects it from moisture for 24 hours. And we'll come back and see what they look like. So there we have it, 24 hours in oil, and they look, I think, pretty awesome. I've got to be honest, I'm well chuffed with them. Um, the smoother the surface, the better they seem to look. Uh, we've got a lovely coating on the bolt. I didn't think it had taken on the threads, but once it came out of the oil, it's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with the, uh, the bolt especially. Um, the bracket, a couple of places haven't taken looks, which kind of shows the importance of cleanliness, making sure there's no oil on there. So I assume I didn't proper clean inside there, and that's why it's not quite penetrated the surface. It's uh, the oil stopped the solution getting to it properly. Uh, but generally, for an old gnarly old bracket, I think it looks pretty awesome. And the uh, the washer, the pan washer, it's that's the one we did with hot bluing, and uh, even that's come out really really well as well. Um, so soaking it in oil kind of evens out the colouring and gives it a, a richer colour. A um, bit of a sheen, which obviously will die as the oil comes out, but uh, yeah, really, really impressed with all those bits. Uh, the process is relatively straightforward, as I've shown you. Uh, my preference would be to take your time and get some blue in solution, 
um, and do it do it the cold bloom way. It's just a, I don't know, a less hit and miss process. As long as you can make sure your your, your parts are clean, um, you're pretty much guaranteed a decent result from it. Whereas um, I had quite a few tries at doing this um, at different temperatures before I got it just right. Um, so it was a little bit more hit and miss, and you can't obviously heat a lot of things up for reasons I've already explained. Yeah, I hope that helps, guys. Cheers, take care. Bye-bye.